But we're gonna play so much more aggressive though this time because we're just took up against the Axis. No Tunguska to worry about. Just got to worry about the enemy aircraft and the Roland. We're gonna get in nice and close with this one, I think. I think we can get away with it. And it's more fun. It's fun to be risky. Risky, risky is fun. Set up over this side. Set up over there. Start firing the missiles off them. Target down, next target. Only dare go and cover. And this this is what you can capable of. Oh, we're slaughtering these guys now. This is the G-Links in its purest form of cancer. I mean, honestly. Oh my god, it was just literally... I, I can't fire the missiles quickly enough. And we're out of missiles! Let's go back to rearm. And how many kills do we got? Oh my god, we got six freaking kills. Hello people there, this is the Blue Revolution. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to War Thunder. Today we're looking at helicopters. Uh, this is the G Lynx, which is the British premium helicopter with a battle rating of 9.7. And whether this helicopter is actually more cancerous than the KA-50. Now the KA-50 is definitely cancer in its purest form. It has a really bad rep. Pretty much it's universally hated by a lot of the community. But I think the g Lynx is actually worse than the KA-50 in a lot of aspects. And it's kind of gets have gone about because that KA-50 has such a bad, bad reputation. Now there's a couple of reasons why I think this helicopter is worse. One of them is that it has thermal sights on for a start, which the KA-50 does not, making it so much easier to spot those enemy targets. If you've watched my video on thermal sights, I use the G-Links to demonstrate how easy it is to spot targets using the thermal sights um, on helicopters. Now there is other premium helicopters such as um, the, the French uh, premium one and the Italian premium helicopter as well which do have thermal sights but it's still a really good addition to have. This helicopter also has Hellfire missiles, it can carry uh, eight of those and the kill potential of these I think is actually better in most aspects than the Vicar missiles because they attack the enemy targets from the top meaning that you're going to get the soft top sides of that armor and the kill potential with these uh, Hellfire missiles is so much better than the direct fire uh, Vicar missiles, which the K50 uh, uses. Although they have a little bit of a less range than the Vicar missiles do, for the most part, they still go out to like eight kilometers and you're gonna be in those sort of ranges anyway when you're using the K50. So in most aspects, the Kel fires are pretty much identical uh, to the Vicar missiles, which the K50 uses. This also can carry Stinger missiles, depending on what you can have, fit you have on it. it can have either have four or two, if you have uh, the gun, which is a 20 mil on this with a nice, 570 rounds. I normally take just the missile fit because you're not really going to get in close with it, these um, helicopters. Now other nations do get access to these systems as well such as the A129 International which can have Hellfires and it can have uh, thermal sites as well. However it doesn't carry air-to-air -air missiles to be able to defend itself with. A nation such as France with the Tiger and Japan with the Cobra can have AA missile fits, but they can't carry Hellfires and have to use the closer range tows, which only have a range of about four and a half kilometers. I mean, they have to get in closer and have to put themselves more at risk from those uh, pesky SPAAs. 
the G Lynx as well also sits at that perfect battle rating of a 9.7, meaning that in a down tier with this thing, you're going to dodge those pesky tons Guskers or other top tier missile SPAs and 8.0. Uh, anti-air are going to have no chance of hitting you when you're at far ranges with the hellfire missiles in this thing you can just literally just clean up whole enemy teams potentially as long as you stay out of uh, enemy aircraft harm's way uh what side this helicopter sits on in terms of like the battles being on the allied side mean that you've not used the time to dodge the tunguska and the adats and you're only going to be ready up against the roland 2 which not many people actually have at top tier and it's nowhere near as popular as the tunguska and the adats is when it comes to top tier uh, spas it's all these factors put together which is why i think the g-lynx is actually the most cancerous premium helicopter in the game right now might change in a patch or two when the apache gets introduced into the game but right now this is definitely up there as one of the most cancerous premium helicopters in the game anyway what we're going to do is take this out to see what we can do today it's not going to be the most interesting in the gameplay we're going to be sat at the back we're going to be sniping it's going to be hands off keyboard it's time to get a cup of tea and let's get going and see what we get on okay welcome to al alamein for our first game very low to the ground right now. There is an enemy chopper up, which I can see, and I want to kind of deal with that first because the K-50s with the Vicar missiles can actually hit you. It's one thing that they do better, the Vicar missiles, compared to the Hellfires, in that they can target enemy moving targets a lot better and have like a proximity fuse as well, whereas the Hellfires are pretty much only good against the ground targets. Okay, here he is, look. You ready? Ooh, let's not hit the ground. Here we go. Missile off. The K-50 is also automatically dispense flares now. Oh no, okay. Missed him. It's getting closer. I'm not sure if he spotted me. I really want to go deal with him. Surely not from that range. Oh, gotta dodge him though. Down he goes. Thank you. The best way to fight the cancer is with the cancer. Oh, someone just fired a shell at me. And in turn, we're going to give him a hey. missile. <laughs> turn the hover off. Sorry, turn the hover off. Get the hover off. And off we go again. The g -Lynx is a really maneuverable helicopter. It's very quick in real life. Very maneuverable. This is a fun way to use the helicopters as well. Like this. We're in very close now, though. It's the only problem right now. Off it goes, and in it comes, and... <laughs> it's just too easy. Oh, there's another guy here. It's got all these missiles off. Off she goes. Three, two, one, and fire another one off. Three, two, one, and. Oh, come on. Maybe go for a little bit lower. Get the driver. There we go. Uh oh. Uh oh, there's an IL 28. I'm actually going to go back and rearm, I think. We're, um, we've had a good run there, but I want to rearm the AA missiles. Okay, we have successfully rearmed and repaired, so we'll have the, the stinger missiles, just in case we get targeted. Doesn't look like there's any enemy aircraft or helicopters right now. I mean, with the thermal sights, it's just too easy to spot people. It's, it's way too easy. This kind of map, though, it might be a little bit difficult to spot people. Potentially, there's this guy here. Yeah, okay, we're gonna fire the missile off at him. 12 seconds. Uh, we'll put him at the hover as well because we don't really need to get any closer. Five seconds, four, three. 
And there we go. Let's kill number four. Oh, there's this guy here, look. Ah, oh, lost the tracking on him. We'll go for this guy instead. I think that's a friendly. I hope that's a friendly. And honestly, I think the G-Links, the kill potential with these missiles is so much greater. So much greater than the Vicar missiles. Still no enemy air targets from what I can see. There's this guy here, look. And this is just the perfect range for us. Two seconds, one second. He's already got hit by somebody else. Okay, the missile actually missed. Yeah, he's got him there. We'll go for this guy then instead. Or maybe this guy, actually. If he stays where he is. Maybe if he's moving. Uh, he's gonna be... No, don't go into cover. They're not making it easy for me, are they? We've got one missile left. I'll probably go for this guy down to our bottom left in a second. Hmm. Where are my missiles going? Alright, uh, last missile it is. And there we go. Hover off. And back to rearm again. And we're on six kills and one aircraft kill. So easy to do. The Hellfires are really good. Well, I don't think we're going to be able to top that first game today. Showcased everything that I wanted out of the G-Links. Pretty much the perfect game. We're going to play so much more aggressive though this time because we're just took up against the Axis. No Tunguska to worry about. Just have to worry about the enemy aircraft and the Roland. We're going to get in nice and close with this one, I think. I think we can get away with it. And it's more fun. It's fun to be risky. Risky Risky is fun. We're gonna set up over this side. Is that a guy over there? No. Okay. Okay, there's enemies over here. Of enemies over here. I guess we'll start firing the missiles off then. Target down, next target. Yeah, you run. You run. Uh oh. Thanks. Don't you dare go and cover. And this this is what you're capable of. Oh, we're slaughtering these guys now. This is the G-Links in its purest form of cancer. I mean, honestly. Oh my god, there's just literally... I, I can't fire the missiles quickly enough. Attention to the designated grid square. 
And we're out of missiles. Let's go back to rearm. And how many kills do we got? Oh my god, we got six freaking kills. And this is why I think the G-Lynx is better than the K-50. Literally. Not even three minutes in, really. And already we're at six kills. Okay, we have rearmed. There is an enemy jet up somewhere. There he is. I can hear him. I can't fucking see him, though. Oh, no. Okay, never mind. It's a friendly. Oh, getting all pa panicky. I don't think we're ever going to get a run like that ever again. That was absolutely ridiculous. We've capped the C point. We're going to... Okay. It's a friendly. It's fine. There is still a few enemies up we can, we can potentially kill. Uh, stay still so I can kill you. Ah, uh, he's died. That guy's dead as well. Oh, this is actually an anti-air. Let's get rid of him quick. And this is why the G-Lynx is worse than the K-50. What defense do these guys have? The Hellfires are fucking devastating. There's enemy jets, though. There's several enemy jets. Oh, God. Let's finish off this guy. I need to go back to Riam. Who's dodged it? Oh, crap. Um, Rebels is bailing out. Yay, they got me. Well done. Well done, enemy team. Hey, and we just destroyed that Seahawk. Eventually, the Stinger missiles do kind of lack the killer punch. They're very good at tracking, but I found sometimes you have to hit multiple times. And this game is about to end. Fucking hell, that was, that was so stupid. I have to say, today has been some of the most disgusting, most filthiest, most cancerous games I've ever had in War Thunder. In that second game, with like, like a minute, we got like five kills, just literally firing off those hellfires one after another. And the enemy had just no chance because the Capards couldn't really hit us and they couldn't get enough spawn points either because we're killing them that quickly to be able to get into enemy aircraft and be able to counter us that way. But even if they did, we still have the Stinger missiles to be able to defend ourselves with. The G-Lynx is just pure cancer. It really, really is. And in my opinion, it is a lot better than the K-50 at killing ground targets and it can defend itself if it needs to. Anyway, let me know in the comments below what do you think of helicopters? I think most people, or the majority of people, really despise helicopters in War Thunder. And I, for the most part, agree with them because, as you can see today, it just ruins top tier ground uh, forces. It really, really does. Anyway, let me know in the comments below. And please like, comment, share, all that good stuff. And I'll catch you all in the next one sometime soon. Bye!